Some Edmonton city councillors call the province's latest push for control a threat to democracy, and they're not happy about it. To watch that press conference yesterday was a joke. It undermined everything I thought I knew about the person. Councillor Andrew Knack is talking Minister Rick McIver, who Thursday announced Bill 20, which will give provincial cabinet more authority over Alberta's towns and cities, the power to remove councillors, overturn bylaws, and add political parties at the local level for Edmonton and Calgary. Every single member from the UCP are going to vote in favour of it. Why? Because the party has told them how to vote, and it doesn't matter if they feel differently, because I know some of them do, and I know they don't want this and yet they're still going to go walk into that legislature and say yes when given the opportunity. But it's not just parties. Part of Bill 20 would remove electronic voting tabulators going back to counting by hand. Uh, which we've been using for 20 years and that is going to add a significant cost to the next budget adjustment that we're going to have to do in the fall. Even Minister McIver admitting some of these changes are not popular in the general public and he has no data showing Albertans want to see the change. But this constitutional expert says McIver has the law on his side. The cities are created by the province. They could be uncreated by the province tomorrow if the province wanted to as a as a constitutional matter. I asked both Councillor Knack and Rutherford if they would run under a political party in the next election. I'd like to say no, but it might even have to come down to you create a party of independence. And yes, they've tried to say, oh, of course you're going to be allowed to run as an independent. That's not how the legislation is actually being drafted in practice. Sure, yes, it's technically allowed, but you're not going to be given a good chance. Just like right now, how many times have an has an independent candidate run provincially, uh, one, run and won provincially in federally. While both opposed to the change forcing parties on Edmonton and Calgary, they are still weighing their options. Rutherford adding councillors like herself are facing other issues in addition to what she calls a fight with the province. We have a lot of women on our council and we have racialized folks on our council and we see a lot more racism. We see a lot more sexism. We see a lot more of that stuff than I think previous councils had to grapple with. So you're already dealing with those challenges and then you're adding a layer of a hostile provincial government. It's making it a very uh, hard time for, for women and women of color to want to be in these roles, and it makes it hard for new women and women of color to want to step into these roles. Reporting from Edmonton, Darcy Ropchan, City News.